Ooh, this guy wants that car. He wants that car. Should he use the word hope or wish? When he is telling you that he wants that car, which word should he use? Should he use hope or wish? What's the difference between both of these words? Well, they're very similar. They have a very similar meaning, but they have some differences. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you what the differences are. Okay, so take a look at these two sentences. I hope I can afford a Lamborghini one day. I hope I can afford a Lamborghini one day. I wish I could afford a Lamborghini. I wish I could afford a Lamborghini. Now, in this one, we're talking about something that could be possible. Okay, so if I say this, I hope I can afford a Lamborghini one day. I'm saying, yeah, I, I, I hope so. I think it could be possible. Okay, I'm talking about it like I, I think it could happen. It might happen, right? Whereas if I say this, I wish I could afford a Lamborghini. This is unlikely. It's unlikely to happen. That's why I say it like this. Okay, if I'm hoping that it will happen, then I use this. But if I don't believe that it's possible, if it's very unlikely, then I say this. I wish I could afford a Lamborghini. Okay, so very often in English, we use this sentence structure when we talk about things that we want to happen, but we don't believe they're possible, right? Uh, for example, I could say, I wish I had wings and could fly like a bird. I wish I was a bird. Like, it's unlikely that I will grow wings because I'm not a bird, I'm a human, right? So that's why I use the word wish here. I wish I could afford a Lamborghini. It means probably, I mean, Lamborghinis are expensive cars, right? How much is a Lamborghini? I don't even know. $200,000? Something like that? I don't know. I've never even thought about it because I'm probably never going to have a Lamborghini in my life. That's why I would say this. I wish I could afford a Lamborghini. Okay, uh, let's take a look at these examples. I hope you can come to Canada one day. I hope you can come to Canada one day. Okay, here I'm saying it's, it's possible. I hope so, you know. I don't know your situation, but I hope you can in the future, right? If I say this, I wish you could come to Canada, then it's, it's unlikely, okay? Like, let's say you're from a country that is maybe at war with Canada. Canada's not really at war with any countries, but let's say Canada was at war with your country, and Canada did not allow anyone from your country to come to Canada, right? Then I could say, I wish you could come to Canada. It's not possible, but I wish you could come, right? So that's the difference between hope and wish. We often use wish in these situations and hope in these situations there. Okay, now let's take a look at these sentences. I hope I don't gain any weight over Christmas. <laughs> I hope I don't gain any weight over Christmas. I wish I had more self-control at Christmas time. Okay, very often people in Western culture eat lots of food, especially unhealthy food like uh, desserts, all kinds of cookies, cakes, right, at Christmas time. So a lot of people get fat over Christmas. <laughs> So, you know, you might say this, if you come to Canada and you celebrate Christmas, maybe you will say one of these sentences, okay? I hope I don't gain any weight over Christmas. So here you're saying I, it's possible, I, I really hope not, right? And then here you're saying, I wish I had more self-control at Christmas time. It's here you're acknowledging that it's very unlikely. I wish I had more self-control, but 
I don't have any self-control. I'm going to eat a lot of cookies. I'm going to gain weight for sure. Whereas here, you have some hope that maybe it won't happen, right? Um, I hope I get a new bike for Christmas. I wish I had a new bike. Okay, so very often when we use the word hope, we we include um, some time reference in the future, okay, or in the present. So if you're hoping for something, uh, usually when are you hoping for it? Are you hoping for it now? Are you hoping for it for Christmas? Okay, whereas when you wish, you know, because it's unlikely, because you don't believe it's going to happen, usually we don't have a time reference. So you can't say, I wish I had a new bike for Christmas. That that doesn't make any sense. So usually when we say a sentence like this, I wish I had, it's it's like it's outside of time. So we don't have a time reference, right? Like if I said, uh, I wish I had wings like a bird, you know, it's sort of, it's sort of a, a strange concept that's not real, right? So anyway, that's one difference between both those words, hope and wish. Um, now, notice that when we use the word hope, uh, we usually use simple present verbs, okay? Like, look at this. I hope I get. Okay, get is just a very simple verb, right? I hope I get a new bike. Whereas when we use the verb wish, we we very often use these words, could and would. Okay, I wish I could afford a new car. I wish she would come visit me. Okay, or we use past tense verbs like this. I wish I knew how to speak French. I wish I knew how to speak French. I wish I had a girlfriend. I wish I had a girlfriend. Okay, so notice these are past tense verbs. But why are they past tense? Well, English is sort of a crazy language, right? Because you're not talking about the past, really. If I say, I wish I had a girlfriend, now, I'm not, I'm not saying I wish I had one in the past. I'm dreaming about a possibility that is outside of time. There's no, there's no time reference. Do you understand that? I hope that makes sense for you. Okay, let's take a look at these examples. I hope I can visit you soon. I'm saving money for a ticket. I hope I can visit you soon. I'm saving money for a ticket. Okay, here, I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. Okay, whereas here, I wish I could visit you soon, but it'll probably take me a long time to save up enough money. Okay, here, we're a little bit pessimistic. Pessimistic means we're thinking about the negative side. Here is the positive side. Here's the negative side. I wish I could visit you soon, but it'll probably take me a long time to save up enough money. You know, maybe a few years. It might be a few years before I ever get to see you. Okay, so we're a little bit pessimistic. Um, but here, we're optimistic. That's a little bit of a, of a difference between the words as well. Okay, um, now we use the word hope when we are talking about the usually the future, okay, or sometimes in the present. For example, I could say, I hope it stops raining, right? Let's say it's raining. I hope it stops raining. That means I want it to stop raining right now, okay? Or you, you could say, I hope the weather will be nice tomorrow, okay? And you're talking about the future. Uh, now, with the word wish, we can also use it in the, you know, the present and the future, even though it's a little bit outside of time, right? Like I said, if I said, uh, I wish I had a girlfriend, that's not really future present. Well, it's sort of present, right? I wish I had one now, if I said that, right? So it's sort of in the present, or I wish I had a new car, you know, you're sort of thinking maybe in the future, but very often we also use this word to talk about the past, the past. So that's a big difference between these two words, okay? We especially use 
the word wish when we talk about regrets in the past. Okay, like this. I wish I had asked her for her number. Okay, maybe you met a beautiful girl um, and you just, you met her randomly, you, you crossed paths and you're never going to see her again. She was very friendly. Um, and you, you say this, I wish I had asked for her number. So you regret that because you'll probably never see her again, right? Or I wish I had studied harder for the test. Okay, I wish I had studied harder for the test. You failed the test. You failed. Then afterwards you you regret that, right? So you say, I wish I had studied harder for the test. Uh, now, we can use the word hope to talk about things in the past, but then we use a completely different verb structure. Okay, look at this. I was hoping to buy a new phone last month, but I didn't have enough money. Okay, I was hoping to buy a new phone last month, but I didn't have enough money. That means you were, you were anticipating, you were planning to buy a new phone last month, but then you, you didn't have en enough money to buy it, right? So if we use hope in this way to talk about the past, then it needs to be in like, this is the, the past continuous verb tense. Okay, or we could, we could use this verb tense here. I had hoped for snow on Christmas Day, but it rained instead. Okay, I had hoped for snow on Christmas Day, but it rained instead. Okay, so then we need to use one of these other verb tenses. Now, if you don't know anything about verb tenses, that's okay. Don't worry. I have a whole series on my channel about verb tenses. You can find the link to that playlist down there in the description. Okay, I think there are maybe like 15 or 16 videos or maybe more in that playlist. Okay, so if you don't know anything about verb tenses, you should go watch that playlist. Okay, so I want to tell you, I hope you learn English fluently. I just wish it wasn't so hard to learn. I hope you can learn it really fluently, but I just wish it wasn't so hard to learn because English is a very, very hard language to learn. Hey, if you're learning English, I take my hat off to you. That means I respect you because it's a hard language. You're doing good. Keep it up. Hey, if you like getting tips like this, I'd be so happy if you subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so I want you to make two sentences, one with the word wish and another sentence with the word hope. Post your sentences down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.